Hey, it's Sleep on the Friday. Yee -hee. On a Sunday. <laughs> I missed two weeks. One week I was in TI. I was supposed to do a Freak on the Friday, but it slipped my mind because I was so busy and I was a little tired. And now my friend had me all over the place in TI doing all kind of stuff. And it was a nice vacation. And so that week I didn't do it. And then the week before that, I think I was just, I was busy again, I think. I don't, I didn't do it that week, but we're going to do today on a Sunday, and that's all right. Okay. I just want to tell you that my hair, my sides are going back from the castor oil. If you've been keeping up with me, you would know that I'm working on my sides to be regrowing, and they're regrowing back. I just took my hair out for weave, you know, after my grandfather had passed. So I had told you the last video, he has passed away. He had a funeral. I sang a song at his funeral. And um, the funeral was beautiful and peaceful. And we laid him to rest. And may God continue to rest. May he continue. May his soul continue to rest in peace. <laughs> so, today... The meal I had. Let me tell y'all something. You have a Pollo Tropical on Grand Bahama Island. It's the only it's the only Pollo Tropical in the country. We have seven hundred islands and keys. Pollo Tropical in Grand Bahama is the only Pollo Pollo Tropical in the country. And let me tell you something. I've been going to Pollo Tropical since since its inception, which is probably like ten years maybe. I have never ordered what I ordered today. Let me tell you what I got from Pollo Tropical. I got crispy chicken, pollo with barbecue sauce, yellow rice, and plantain. I always normally just get the regular chicken. And then today I was like, let me try this crispy chicken. I love it. I love it. I love it. It was really good. So if ever you in Grandma Hama, check out the pollo tropical. Pollo tropical is really tasty. Okay, meditation for today. Now, today, I rent a church. I don't go to church every Sunday, but I do go to church, fellowship with believers, my brothers and sisters in Christ, as the Lord has commanded. I used to be way more involved in church. If any of you who know me personally, I was way more involved in church. I grew up in church. Both my parents are pastors. Now, both my parents are doctors. My father is an apostle bishop. Apostle bishop. My mother is a doctor in bio. So is my father. Um, so I've grown up in church and I, I understand the need for it and I love church. Now, today my mother preached, she preached about, I don't remember the name of the sermon, but she preached from Corinthians about Paul, about the, the things that they were doing and how he corrected them and was telling them what they should, shouldn't do, how they should act, how they shouldn't act, and what they should, how, how they should restore a person who did wrong in the church. This nail came off. I gotta fix that. <clears throat> well, anyways, let me, let me stop. I am finished my mixtape, raw, unedited version. The sound quality isn't too good, I must admit, but that's okay the first one and it's a body of work and it's original and it's the first of many okay so it's done it's finished it's out there so it's on my it's on my youtube so you can just go and click on it and you'll listen to all nine songs in one shot next i'm going to piece it apart so that if you just want to listen to one song or two songs whichever song you like you could just click on it and listen to it they're all covers except one song the song that I sang at my grandfather's funeral is on that mixtape, okay? And it's only on YouTube, okay? I haven't streamed it anywhere else yet. Right now, it's just YouTube until I can figure out everything I need to figure out, you know? But right now, I'm focusing on music content. So stick around for more music content. And then once I'm done, I'll then get the radios and streaming and doing all that. We're going to get there. We're going to get there. Okay, so back to meditation. Last night I had a dream, and the, at the end of the dream, was all, all kinds of different stuff was in the dream. <laughs> Excuse me. The dream was all over the place. But at the end of the dream, there was 
a baby that was wrapped up like, like swaddling clothes and it was really cold the baby was just wrapped up wrapped up and then there was a mother and a father was it this baby's mother and father as in yes in it wasn't this, this baby's mother and father really and the mother and the father came and they um the man and the woman came and they unraveled what was on the it was a chair and it was a baby and i heard a voice in my dream say grace came as a baby. Today in church, my mother preached. She said, Jesus is grace. And I said to myself, you know what? This is something I need to sink into my heart today because I heard it twice. I saw it in a dream. Grace came as a baby. And my mother said today as she preached in church, Jesus is grace. And I've been, I've been, not focused, but I've been trying to really understand grace. And I, I can't tell you how grateful I am for God's grace. Who is Jesus Christ? Who came as a baby into this world through Mary? And he came, the grace of God, he came. And I keep, I keep seeing throughout the scripture where God keeps doing and doing and doing and doing. He don't just talk. I am done with the talking, 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 talking. Please show me something. If you a fella, please stop talking to these women. Do something, please. Stop with the yapping, 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 yapping. Do something, please. Do something. Ladies, stop listening to all the yapping, 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 yapping. That don't matter. Do something. And let your words Be about what you be about. <sighs> Take that example from Jesus Christ and that Jesus came and he came and he did something. He already had his intention. Like, listen, if these people need to be saved, I ready. I gonna do something. It's gonna be hard. Jesus wanted to take the cup, called to take the cup from him, but he still did it. And please, let's be about our father's business, believers. Please, ladies, let's be about loving ourselves, taking care of ourselves, taking care of our bodies, taking care of our children. If you have a husband, love your husband. Let's be about it, not just be talking about things all the time. That go for me too. Fathers, man, y'all, let's let's be about this thing. Let's not just talk about all the things we're gonna do, all the things we want to do, all the things that happen to us, how life is happening to us, and how people wrong, and how. Let's be about it. And then once you do it, let's talk about it. And then do something, then talk about it. You know. We can't just keep yapping, yapping, yapping all the time. Grace is Jesus. Jesus came. Grace came. He did something. He came from heaven, humbled himself, and come down to the earth. He didn't just say, oh, I love you all. I love you, and um, I wish you the best. Excuse me. You always see God about it. So, let's be about it. The new year is coming. Let's be about it. Everybody, you don't have to be no Christian to be about it. Let's be about it. Then talk about it. <sighs> yes, yeah, so, Grace. I, I still have not fully grasped 
grace in its entirety. That's but because grace is Jesus. Jesus is grace, and grace is Jesus, and so it it all goes back to the fact that we need Christ. We need Jesus every day, every hour. We need him for everything. You might as well get it. Say, Jesus, I need you. Jesus, I need you. Because you do. It's, I think, the biggest problem with with many people now, is we have so much access to so much that we don't feel like we need God. We have access to wonderful health care. We have access to pills. We have access to technology, books, money. But it still remains. We as humans, we, we need Jesus Christ. So if you want Jesus Christ to come into your heart, just say, Jesus, I repent of my sins. Jesus, I, I believe you died on the cross for my sins. Jesus, I believe you are grace and you came down and you died for me. And Jesus, you when you died, you died and you took the sins of the world down with you. And when you rose again from the dead, you rose for me to set me free from myself, from my sin. And I want you to come into my heart. And I want you to stay. And I want to stay with you. And I want to receive this grace. You have, have mercy on me. I repent of everything that I've done. Because I know everything that I've done or will do is forgiven. Because you took care of it on the cross. So Jesus, come into my heart today and stay. And I want you to be my Lord and my Savior. Amen. You want to believe what you say? God knows. God see your heart. You don't, you don't even have to say all of that. All you can say is Jesus save me. And if you mean that from the depth of your soul, and you saying that to a God that you know is real, if you saying that to a God that you know inside your heart hears you and sees you, because it takes faith for you to say that. It takes faith for you to say, Jesus save me. You don't see Jesus with your two eyes right here on this earth right now. That's in faith. Even something as simple as that, God sees. And God know in your heart what, what you mean. Because God don't see what we see. God see your heart. That's who you really are. That's what God come to fix. That's what Jesus came to heal. That's what he wants. Your heart. He deserve it. Only God deserve that. Only him could heal it. You know, humans are flawed. We can only do so much. But with God, anything is possible. Okay, well that's the meditation for today.